State College is a very vibrant, exciting community. We have educated people, we have blue collar, a lot of students from different parts of the country, a lot from different parts of the world actually. So you get a little bit of everything here. This is a community that touches on every aspect of humanity. Yeah, we live in a small city, but we have a lot of the same challenges a lot of the larger police departments have. I love what I do. I love being a State College police officer. Uh, we consistently rank in the top 10 as far as safest communities in the country. It's not by accident. I love my job. I love working for State College Police, and I, I really enjoy the people that I work with. This has been a very rewarding career for me. So we have cars, bike, and foot. What else? Motorcycles. Motorcycles. <laughs> we do have a motorcycle. Whenever you begin to think about the various specialties and opportunities for an officer in this department, there are many, and they are varied. Well, as the community relations officer, uh, one of my main functions is to create partnerships with the community. I go to a lot of schools, we get a chance to go into the classrooms and talk to students and really make an impact on them and an impression that police officers are there to help them. Being a part of the schools is a really big um, part of community policing. One of the many areas that I'm very pleased with in this department is adapting to the changing needs of our community. We're by far one of the best police departments in the country when it comes to providing specialized training to our police officers. Aside from the normal academy, the Pennsylvania Academy that we go to, we do a lot of in-service training and all of our specialty positions do have specified training for that position. We had an officer or a detective who had a strong interest in poly being a polygrapher. They're encouraged to go out and research that then, go out and find out how it would fit in our agency, what the policies, what it all entails. Go do that research, find a training. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be approved. The department has supported me in my attempts to be the best bomb technician I can. Um, any sort of training that's available, if it's possible for me to go staffing-wise in that, the department sends me. Please state your full name for the record. I was really blessed to get interested in a topic early on in my career that the department supported. I'm the domestic violence detective and I work with victims who are experiencing violence in their family relationships. The changes that we made with the support of State College Police is being duplicated countywide and at the statewide level. We don't expect someone coming here on their first day to have that training. We want them to become good general police officers, but with the goal in mind, they're gonna find that specialty that really challenges them, really interests them, because when they're challenged, when they're interested, they provide outstanding service which leads to a safer community. We have a very extensive uh, field training program here that once a new police officer actually gets out of the academy and gets their Act 120 training, now they come to our department and they go through a, several phases with field training officers. They're learning geography, they're learning how to interact with people, investigate things, operate the patrol vehicle, things like that. Aiken, if you remember from briefing today, uh, the lieutenant told us that there was a runaway juvenile it should be hanging around in the downtown area. Do you remember the description that was provided to us? He was about approximately five foot ten, a white male. The purpose of that program is not to teach someone how to be a police officer, it's how to teach them to be a state college police officer and what's expected of them here. Shortly after I was assigned to the Criminal Investigation Division, I was sent away to a series of courses over 128 hours of crime scene processing, fingerprinting, uh, blood collection, photography, uh, tire and tread mark, trace evidence, ballistics, everything dealing with the criminal investigations, crime scene processing. Each detective in the State College Police Department is trained in criminal investigations and crime scene processing. We have sexual assault, uh, domestic uh, robbery and property crimes. Uh, we also have forensic division where we do cell phone forensics and computer forensics. So depending on the cases that come in, it usually will go to the detective that's most familiar with that type of case. State College is a very safe community. Regardless of where the location is, there's still going to be critical incidents and incidents where people can do harm. And that's precisely why we have a tactical team here. The community and the police department expect that if there is some type of a situation that is a critical incident, that they'll have a specially trained team that can handle the incident itself. An officer can expect, uh, whether they're new or old, that they're going to work at the stadium. Um, they could be on a traffic control post, they could be inside the stadium providing service, they could be on a TRT, or they could be outside the stadium in the lots. It's truly a team effort. It's a long day, but it's rewarding. 
The main mission of the officers who are up in the higher areas of the stadium is observation. They're looking for abnormalities or anything outside the stadium or inside that might cause a problem. Night patrol at State College Police is a very unique entity. Um, at between 7 and 11 o'clock at night, things can be very quiet. As soon as 11 o'clock rolls around and people come out from their residences and start partying, you can be sitting there watching a traffic light bored to death one minute, and the next minute later you could be responding to a 20-person fight involving a knife. We have a lot of bars uh, downtown, a lot of fraternities, sororities. So you'll have the students that are under 21 coming down from campus, going to the, the Greek system. You'll have the people that are over 21 uh, going to the bars downtown. And sometimes people decide to act inappropriately, and it's up to us to deal with it. The way that we respond to students is sort of embracing them for their strengths, um, embracing them for their diversity, and then working to help them through whatever issues they're running into while they're living in our community. I think we have to have a lot of patience to deal with a lot of the students up here. Younger people who are just out of high school who may not have mom and dad's guidance anymore, so it's important to kind of gently guide them but let them know what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And not only do we have a large student population here, we have a large uh, residential community that we serve in, in State College Borough and the outlying townships. So when we get a new hire here, a new officer, we want them to do well. We're not just going to let someone out on the streets without the tools that they need to actually do the job here, do the job the State College Police Department way. We have a very low turnover rate. People that join our police force retire from our police force. So we as officers have a lot of good camaraderie. Um, we work well together. I think that everybody kind of depends on each other to be there for their backup, but also to be their friend outside of work. Our philosophy is a police community partnership. We know that for us to be most effective as a police department, we have to partner with the community. Basically, we see ourselves as enforcing the law and most importantly, solving problems for the community. I enjoy working in State College because I get to work and live in a beautiful area and generally get to deal with people who appreciate having us here. It's an amazing opportunity for somebody who wants to bring their family to a community that is well-educated and has a lot of opportunities that you're not going to get outside of State College. This is the place that I want to live. There's no other place that I would rather be. Both professionally and personally, it fits. This is a great department. I can't imagine being anywhere else. If you want to be a police officer, State College is the place to do it. It is a wonderful place to raise a family and a wonderful police department. Uh, State College is a pretty tight community. You know, it's probably most well known for being home to Penn State University, but it's a community that really values what happens in their area. I think that most people that um, are looking for an opportunity for a career are going to be extremely happy with what they find here.